Security forces were called in on Monday night to surround the wealthy neighborhood where the former president of Honduras lives. Less than three weeks ago, Juan Orlando Hernandez was in charge of the country. Now, the U.S. is calling for his arrest and extradition. Prosecutors in New York have repeatedly accused the former president of involvement in drug trafficking, alleging his political rise was fueled by drug profits. We've been calling for his arrest since 2015, when we denounced that the former president was a drug trafficker, corrupt and associated with criminals. Hernandez was president for eight years. U.S. prosecutors have accused him of receiving millions of dollars in exchange for protecting drug shipments to the country. The money was reportedly also used to bribe politicians and help his political career. The former president has repeatedly denied the allegations. In an audio recording on Tuesday, he said he's willing to voluntarily turn himself in. Estoy presto y listo I'm ready to collaborate and voluntarily go to the authorities the moment the Supreme Court judge is assigned to this case so that I can face the situation and defend myself accordingly. His legal team argues it will take its direction from the Supreme Court of Honduras and not from foreign countries. It's up to the executive power of the nation. We must wait for an independent body of the state to make the corresponding decisions. Hernandez left office on January 27th, when the new president, Guillermo Castro, was sworn in. On that same day, he became Honduras' representative to the Central American Parliament, which oversees political and commercial treaties across the region. And as a member of that group, his lawyers argue the former president has immunity from criminal prosecution. Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.